in this presentation, we're going to talk about anti-traumatodal drugs. Anti-traumatodal drugs work against traumatodes and flukes. Fasciolysis, caused by fasciola hepatica, is the most frequent and has the biggest economic impact. The rumen fluke, or the paraphistomum in cattle, and the lung fluke, paraginomus in dogs and cats, are both significant parasites. In this slide, I'm going to present to you the examples of anti thematodal drugs. Number one is the carbon tetrachloride, two, hexachloroethane, three, hexachloroparasiline, four is the tetrachlorodifluoroethane, five, the hexachlorophene, six, the bithinyl sulfoside, seven, the oxyclozanide, eight, the promosulfans, nine, clyoxanide, 10 niclofolan, 11 nitrocyanyl, 12 rafosanide, 13 bromophenophos, 14 chlorsulon, and lastly 15 clozanthin. Carbon tetrachloride is effective against fasciola hepatica and is well tolerated in sheep and economic. It is mainly used in treatment of fasciolaiosis in sheep. Mechanism of action Because it interferes with cholesterol biosynthesis, its anthelmintic action is thought to be indirect. Methylsterol is an intermediate metabolite in cholesterol biosynthesis. Carbon tetrachloride inhibits cholesterol synthesis, causing toxic methylsterols to accumulate in the liver. Bile and urine of treated animal. The methyl sterol is lethal to the flux and interferes with the secretory and enzymatic activity of the parasite's gut epithelium. It has recently been shown to decouple oxidative phosphorylation. Parasites die as a result. For its pharmacokinetics, carbon tetrachloride is absorbed in the intestine, metabolized in the liver, and excreted in bile and urine. Adult bile duct flukes 12 weeks or older are killed, but immature liver parenchyma flukes are not. The toxicity and disadvantages of carbon tetrachloride Number 1 or letter A is it lacks activity against immature flukes. B. It is highly toxic to mammalian liver, so cannot be used in cattle, horse, pig, and cat. C. High dose causes giddiness, unconsciousness, and cardiovascular collapse. D. Toxicity is more in debilitated animals, animals with diseased liver, high fat diet, in cold weather, due to a decreased excretion through expired air. Next example is the hexachloroethane. Hexachloroethane is a white crystalline chlorinated hydrocarbon. It is highly effective against adult fasciola species, Haemonchus, and Trichostrongylus in cattle. But it is ineffective against ruminant flukes and intestinal nematodes. Its mechanism of action, it interferes with anaerobic ATP production by flukes by uncoupling oxidative phosphorylation in mitochondria. The flukes die as a result. Its toxicity. The alternative to carbon tetrachloride in cattle to treat fasciola infections, hepatotoxicity, side effects, and dietary restrictions in sheep and cattle necessitated newer drugs. Next example is the hexachloroparasiline. Hexachloroparasiline is a chlorinated benzene derivative. It is a fasciolicide for fasciola hepatica in sheep. It is used with penothiazine to treat ruminant liver flukes and GI nematodes. It has a higher tolerance in sheep than carbon tetrachloride and does not cause blood dicrasia. Next example is the tetrachlorodifluoroethane. It is a halogenated hydrocarbon 
It is effective only against adult fasciola hepatica infection and well tolerated in sheep. It is not used in cattle since it is less effective against liver flukes and also produces toxic reactions. Hexachlorophene Hexachlorophene is used in treatment of mature liver fluke infections in humans and ruminants and cestoid infections in canines. It is 100% effective against adult F. hepatica and adult fasciola gigantica in sheep and cattle. This is because the drug remains in free form in bile and the host metabolite excreted in bile has a high activity, especially against adult flukes as they remain in bile ducts. However, immature flukes, bath and liver parenchyma blood are not affected because the free drug is less available due to plasma protein binding. Hexachlorophene is less safe Overdosing causes CNS symptoms, blindness, followed by even death. Bithinyl sulfoside. Beside anti-cestodial property, it has excellent efficacy against rumen and liver flukes of domesticated animals and wild ruminants. Bromosulfans. Bromosulfans is a mixture of dibromosalans and tribromosalans. This drug has equal efficacy for adult flukes as other fasciolicidal drugs and had been used for treatment of fasciola hepatica infections. It is 100% effective against juvenile flukes from 6 to 10 weeks of age. Oxyclozonide is a salicylanilide compound having fasciolicidal activity. In vivo, it is only active against adult liver flukes that live in bile ducts. It is not effective against immature flukes because of protein binding in blood. Clioxanide. Clioxanide is highly effective against adult and immature fasciola hepatica in sheep, but the dose needed for immature flukes are less safe. Niclofloran. Niclofloran is an analog of hexachlorophene. It is effective against fasciola hepatica in sheep, cattle, pigs at safe doses. It is mostly used in sheep only. Its mechanism of action is similar to hexachloroethane. It is excreted in milk, nitroxinil. Nitroxinil is injectable fasciolicide, effective against liver fluke in cattle and sheep, with some activity against fly larvae, and blood-sucking nematodes. It is also used in treatment of gape worms in poultry. Its mechanism of action is also the same as hexachloroethane. Rafosinide is effective against adult and young liver flukes in sheep. It is also indicated in treatment of blood-sucking nematode infections and for tissue-invading maggots. Its Mechanism of action again is same as hexachloroethane. Bromophenophos. Bromophenophos is an organophosphoric acid ester used for treatment of mature F. hepatica infections in cattle. It has good efficacy against immature liver flukes. Chlorosolon. Chlorosolon is chemically a benzene sulfonamide. It is an oral fasciolicide. It is active against adult and immature flukes. Its mechanism of action, a uh, drug inhibits the glycolysis by inhibiting the glycolic enzymes, 3-phosphoglycerate kinase and phosphoglycermutase of fasciohepatica. This enzyme inhibition causes blockade of EMP glycolytic pathway in the parasite and deprives the fluke of essential metabolic energy. This ultimately leads to death of the flukes, safe for use in pregnant animals. Glossantel has a broad range of anathelmintic activity, affecting both endoparasites as well as ectoparasites of animals. The drug is effective against adult and juvenile liver flukes, blood sucking nematodes, parasitic larvae of flies, and to some extent, against tapeworms, mange, mites, and ticks. It, 
its mechanism of action is the same as hexachloroethane. Benzimidazoles. An example of a benzimidazole is albendazole. In sheep and cattle, it is highly efficient against adult fasciloides hepatica and fasciloides magna, and it is used therapeutically. Albendazole dose, single oral dose, in cattle, 10 mg per kilogram, and in sheep, 7.5 mg per kilogram. Drugs acting against immature flukes. An example for this is diamphenetide. Unlike other fasciloides, which are less effective against immature flukes, diamphenetide has a high level of activity against juvenile liver flukes, particularly in sheep, and a lower level of activity against adult flukes, and in cattle, it is inactive. Diamphenetide mode of action, hepatic enzymes deacetylate the medication in the host's liver resulting in a high concentration of an active amine metabolite in the hepatic parenchyma, which is responsible for its activity. This amine metabolite kills immature flukes that are also found in the liver parenchyma until they reach the age of 7 weeks. Diamphenetide uses Acute fasciolosis in sheep can be treated with this medication and also for the sheep's prophylaxis of liver fluke disease. The administration and dosage of this drug, curative, in sheep single oral dosage of suspension at 100 mg per kilogram, administered orally. And in prophylaxis, the best fasciolicide for chemoprophylaxis of fasciolosis is a combination of rafoxanide and diaphenetide. Drugs used against both mature and immature flukes. Triclabendazole is the only treatment option. Triclabendazole's activity against liver flukes is quite distinct from others. For the treatment of liver fluke F. hepatica, in children to adults, it is extremely effective. However, it lacks antinomatodal properties. In cattle, 12 mg per kilogram, and in sheep and goats, 10 mg per kilogram. There are also drugs used in parafistomiosis, which include niclosamide, resorantel, bithyanol, and bithyanol sufoxide. Drugs used in paragonimiasis, prazicontal, albendazole, febendazole, and bithyanol is included. It was said that the most practical approach of reducing trematodal infestation in livestock is therapeutic control especially at the commencement of the monsoon and early summer seasons. anti therapy is advised. This lowers egg transit, grazing area contamination, and consequently the risk of infection in grazing sheep. Ineffective medications against immature or young flukes must be repeated at a later date, so that young flukes grow and are eventually destroyed. Livestock should not allow to graze on or near marshy areas, which are home to the intermediate host of the fluke. Meloxicide is helpful in getting rid of snails. Copper pentachlorophenate at 11 kg per hectare, copper sulfate 5% at 10 kg per hectare, and pentachlorophenol are the meloxicides. So as we can see here, this is a classification of anthelmintic drugs and its spectrum.